All right. Hi, everybody. I am Joanna Craney with Empowered Financial Strategies. I am a financial planner and special needs planner. And I have with me today, Risa Paskoff, who I am so excited to introduce to our uh, community and network. Risa Paskoff is the executive director of Aaron's Acres, which is a therapeutic recreational program organization that supports year round programs for children ages five to 21. And I had the opportunity to get to know Risa over the past few years. And I didn't want to hide her from the world because her organization has so much to offer in the disability community. So Risa, welcome and thank you for being here today. Thank you so much. Um, you're welcome. So why don't you introduce yourself and tell us a little bit more about Aaron's Acres and what makes Aaron's Acres unique and why do we need Aaron's Acres in our community? Sure. It's wonderful to be here. So thank you again, Joanna, for inviting me. So Aaron's Acres, it was started 24 years ago and it was started by a group of parents. Um, and these parents had children at that point, ages five to nine and they were looking for a recreational program over the summer. And they couldn't find something that met their needs. I learned of the, their wishes and their dreams, joined them and was hired as the executive director. Um, and that first summer we had 11 kids, ages five to nine for a half day program. And every child um, had different types of disabilities, but every child was accepted. And our thinking was every child can do every activity. We just have to make it happen and we need to provide the accommodations. So just to give perspective, so the first year we had 11 kids for half day. 2019, pre-COVID, we had 220 kids um, for six weeks of half day programs and full day programs, in addition to creating programs during the school year. Parents were saying to us that they wanted programs also during the school year that on Friday when school ends until Monday morning, the children were home with them. And just like we all, when we were young, wanted to be with our friends on the weekends, so do our kids. Um, so we started a Friday night program with 13 to 21 year olds now go out once a month and they go to Hershey Park, they go bowling, they do miniature golf, everything that you and I would do when we were that age. And then we have a program five to 12 year olds for the younger kids we partnered with Millersville University. The bottom line is every child should have those recreational programs regardless of their disability. And at Aaron's Acres, we make that happen. That's so amazing. Oh my gosh, I think there's, I could think of so many families that could um, really have a wonderful experience if they knew about Aaron's Acres, which is, you know, why I wanted to highlight Aaron's Acres today. Um, you know, with. COVID, I'm sure that that really played um, a role in how you impacted families. Um, what impact did COVID have on Aaron's Acres and, and how did you guys respond? So you can imagine, we all went through this very, very challenging time. Every family felt it. However, for a child or a family who has a child with a disability, it was so much more intense. Um, a lot of our kids couldn't understand, why aren't I go to school? Where's the school bus? Why am I staying home? I'm out of my routine. I'm out of my structure. A lot of our kids do much better when they have that structure in their routine. The families, you know, a parent couldn't just put the child in front of the computer to do the work and then for them to work. The parent really, a lot of our parents had to stop working or be creative with their, if they had a, a, a spouse of who's going to watch the child while the other one worked. A lot of our families might depend on um, other family members to help during the year with babysitting. During COVID, no one was coming over. So it was 24 seven for our families. Mm. So when we found out that we couldn't have camp in 2020, we knew we had to do something and we ended up doing virtual programs. And just like everyone else, we had no idea if this would work. And we are very happy that it did work and we had camp. Virtually, we had 45 kids on the screen we prepared all the supplies ahead of time. We met at LCBC Church in Mannheim. The families came, they picked up their bags for the weeks of camp that their child was attending. All the supplies were divided up by the day. They came through a, a line of staff standing there with yellow t-shirts shouting uh, with musical instruments, yelling each child's name. 
And then they picked up their bag. And then during the week, we did cooking, we did music, we did fitness, um, games, crafts, and all the kids were online doing this. Um, what was neat was the parents were part of that. A lot of times our families don't get to see those activities because they're not at camp. Here, the parents were doing the activities with the kids. So that was very cool. And then the other thing that we did was we had several Saturday events for our families to come to the parking lot stay in the car and play a big game of bingo. For a lot of our families, they weren't going out at all with COVID. A lot of our kids have that sensory issue, so they weren't wearing the mask. They weren't going to the store even. So for them to come to a place where they could all be together, stay in the car, we had big game, you know, big cards for bingo. We had a megaphone um, and the kids and the families would play bingo. And if they won, they honk the horn. Everyone got prizes for winning. That's great. Um, and then we had donors really supported people from the community who paid for a food truck. So families could come out and not worry about spending money, but could have a few hours during the weekend just to have fun and get a break from the stress of being on 24 seven. You know, this is what I love about this organization is that, you know, COVID could have stopped it. Mm -hmm. And you were like, nope, we are a possibilities place. We are all about possibilities and abilities and you just pivoted and made it happen and you worked around it. That's what I just love about this organization. Not only that, but your team is absolutely phenomenal. Just from the experience that we had, um, you know, I brought my daughter last year to camp and it truly was an amazing experience to see how everybody comes together to support these campers and just the light and the energy and the smiles throughout the day. Uh, while we were taking pictures was, it was truly remarkable. So can you highlight maybe a family that had a profound experience uh, because of Aaron's Acres? Sure, so we, we, you know, every day there's a story and you know, there's so many experiences. Okay. This young man, yeah. he came with two of his brothers, first time coming, and I believe they were coming from about 45 minutes to an hour away um, every day. And it was the first time that they came to our camp. And it was the first time that mom said the boys separated from her, except for school, and they didn't have an issue. She has never been able to leave them at any program. And all they did every day was talk about camp, beyond excited. She said, I've never seen my children like this ever. So this one day, they found out that the reptiles were coming. And the night before, this young man says, I can't go to camp. And mom says, what's the story? You know, why? You love camp. I know, but I can't go tomorrow. And the mom kept saying, why? And finally, he said, the reptiles are coming. So she said, OK, but we can tell the staff and they'll work with you and, and they won't have you sit right where the reptiles. I know, but I'm really scared. She goes, let's go and see. So they went and she said, you know, we told the staff person ahead of time, like that morning, you know, he's very nervous about the reptiles. The staff member was wonderful and really could meet his need because we do have that ratio of one on one or one to two. So they sat in the back in the beginning. Well, clearly you can see there's an iguana on his head. <laughs> and by the end of the day with the reptile program, he was sitting in the front row and just involved in every aspect. Mom could not say enough about the staff and just the excitement that she saw in the kids every day with camp. Um, that happens with so many of our families, where the family will say, I don't know, my child's not really good separating from me, or will be very withdrawn, or some behaviors will come up. Um, and because of that ratio, every child's needs can be met immediately without saying, you know, we have to wait because four are the kids. We're just focusing on that one child. So we had another young man who came to camp every day and towards the end of the time, he was only doing half day, but towards the end of that half session, every day he was having a meltdown. So again, because we could do the one-on-one, -on -one, the staff member said to the parent, why don't you come early and pick him up? So he ends on a positive note rather than, it's just too long a morning for him. So we did that and everything was great. The second to last day that camp was, um, the second session, he had a meltdown earlier than usual and and really had unfortunately gone at the staff person the site supervisor and so her arm was bruised the mom came and we told her what happened we said you know what he just got upset uh, and she saw the staff person's arm bruise and so she looked at us and the site supervisor says all right well we're going to see you tomorrow okay and mom started crying and the site supervisor said 
why are you crying? She goes, I just assumed you'd say he can't come back. She said, my son went to another camp earlier in the summer and was told not to come back because of that behavior. And I highlight that because kids are gonna have their meltdowns and kids are gonna lash out. We at Aaron Dakers believe every kid can do everything and can do everything with support. So yes, he had a rough morning, but you know what? He came back the next day and came back for years until he aged out of the program. Wow. So we make it happen because of that ratio. We make it happen because our supervisory staff are all professionals who have that training. That's so important. Wow. That is really, I'll say, profound experiences. And that's just one story. Because I know I have heard so many other stories where families, you know, have not had the experience of really feeling included or really thinking, oh, there's no possibility here because my child is X, Y, or Z. No, at Aaron's Acres, everybody's included, which I think that what, that's what really makes you guys so unique. Um, so there's families out there that certainly would probably love more information about you and, and Aaron's Acres. How do they get um, in touch with you? How, how should they contact you, Risa? So we have a website. It's www.aaronsacres.org. Uh, the thing that always kills me is when I hear about a family who says, my son is 17 and I live right near the camp, but I know that you're not going to take him, but let me just try it. I'll tell you about him. And I, we would say, okay, what's the story? Well, he has a seizure disorder. Okay. And he is in a wheelchair and he's not toilet trained and he's 17 and he needs help with every task that's asked of him. Um, and he's nonverbal. And we very comfortably said to this parent, yes, we can take you with your child. There was no issue. And what killed us was he, did, he started coming at 17. So for all those other summers, mom just assumed that we wouldn't take their, our child. So I think it's really important for families to say, to realize we can take everyone. We can take everyone because we also have nurses on staff. So regardless of your child's disability, we can make, make it happen. We even have campers once in a while that need two staff. We believe every child should have these types of experiences where we focus on socialization and communication, but in a fun setting over the summer and during the school year with their friends. That's so awesome. Th Risa, thank you so much. Thank you for being here today. Thank you for sharing th this, info this very critical important information with our network because like i said i think there's families out there who just think that it's impossible um and what truly is remarkable is aaron's acres makes it possible so thank you so much for being here thank you. and um please make sure that you reach out to risa um go to aaronsacres.org for more information and don't hesitate families um this is a great organization and uh we love Aaron's Acres. So thank you so much and have a wonderful day. Thank you.